Hi, wise guys on session. And this is a fraction. Basic concepts. What is a fraction? For example, when one half, two thirds, three fourths, and one sixth. Also, we can read one over two, two over three, three over four, one over six. A fraction represents a part of a whole. It consists of two parts. The top number we call numerator. The bottom number represents, it's called denominator. The denominator represents the total number of equal parts. And the numerator represents the number of equal parts being selected. So, for example, a pie is cut in two parts. So, the total number of equal parts is two. So, for selecting one part, so this is a one part being selected with one. So the shaded part represented by a fraction is one over two. And also two over three, you can express, so cut this pie into three parts. So the three represent the total number of equal parts. And we, sh we selected two parts. So the, the shaded part represented by a fraction is two over three. If we cut this pie into four equal parts, the total number of equal parts is four. So, if three parts is selected, so represent by a fraction is three over four. And one six, we cut this pie into six parts. one, two, three, four, five, six parts. And we choose one, one part, represent by a fraction which is one over six. Another example, if a ruler, this is a ruler, this is one inch, a whole inch can be divided into eight equal parts. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight parts. For one part, we can label here. This is one part. Because this one part is the total equal number part is eight, so it's one over eight. If selected three parts, one, two, three, three selected, so this one, how long this one? Because it, we have one, two, three, three parts. The total is eight parts, so three over eight, the three part we can express as three over eight inches. Three over eight inch. Four part, and this is a four part. Four over eight. So whole four over eight inch. Seven part, you can see. Okay, sorry, this is a one part, one eight. To one, yeah, one part. 
and this is seven part, we can write seven over eight inch. So which is total seven part is selected. The total number of equal part is eight, so seven over eight. So in fraction part, we have proper fraction, we have improper fraction, we have mixed number. So what is proper fraction? Proper fraction when numerator less than denominator. Proper fraction always less than one. When numerator less than denominator, let's say, we choose one part from two. So one over two. Numerator less than denominator. So we can see on the picture we can see only we choose one part of two. So this is less than one. And also we can Choose two parts from three. So two over three. So numerator less than denominator. This one also less than one. Also, you can choose three parts. Three part choose three part from four, so it's still small than one. So whenever numerator less than denominator, this is a proper fraction. The value of proper fraction always less than one. This is improper fraction. So improper fraction when numerator greater than denominator. So for example, we cut pi into four parts. We choose first pi, we choose all of them. The second pi, we choose one. So the total equal number part, one, two, three, four, but you choose one, two, three, four, five. You choose five parts. So in this situation, you can see the numerator greater than denominator. So the improper fraction always greater than one, you can see. One more, okay? And also like this way, if you cut half, cut two parts, cut two parts, and first you choose all parts and the first two pi and the third pi you choose one. So total you cut two parts and you choose one, two, three, four, five. Five parts. Five over two. So numerator greater than denominator, the improper fraction is greater than one. What if numerator equals denominator? So you cut into two parts, you select two parts. So total cut two, you select two, so you select all the parts. So this is a, a whole pie, so this one, equals one, right? This one equals one. And uh, you also can cut into three parts, total three parts. You select three parts equals one. Cut pi into four parts. You select all four parts. 4 over 4, 
equals 1. So if numerator equals denominator, the value of fraction equals 1. So also you can cut the pi into 10 parts or 100 parts, whatever you select all the parts, the numerator you call denominator, the value of fraction you call one. Okay, this is a mixed number. A mixed number consists of a whole number portion followed by a proper fraction. So a mixed number always greater than one. Cut a pi into four parts. So first pi, you select all of it. So you select four parts. So four over four, actually you call it one, right? And the second pi, you choose one part, which is one part. So this is actually is, we can say the whole plus one over four, because the four over four, you call it one, so we can express as one and a one over four. If you cut into half, the first two pi, you select all of them. The third pi, you select one part. So this one is 2 over 2. This one also 2 over 2. This one is 1 over 2. So this is 1 and 1 and 1 half. Actually, you can write this is 1 and 2, 2 half. 2 and half. So mixed number consists of a whole number portion this one is a whole number portion followed by a proper fraction. This is a proper fraction. Proper fraction. So this is a represented by wise guy.